Crystal Q. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're coming in sideways. I reckon we're updating. I don't know what that means, but Packy just at the very last minute said, oh, I need to update, so we're updating. I just figured I'd wait until we're right to, right before we went on. So we get, yeah. like, new new chairs or what, what we do? And, no, oh. we're good now. We're streaming. Oh, we're okay. Online. We're streaming. Jennifer's back in with us today. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I am doing great for a Monday morning. I know. Oh, that's, that's right. right. I, I just didn't even want to get out of bed this morning. How about you, Pat? Pat? How, How you doing, doing out there? I'm hanging in here. We're it's doing good this morning. It's blowing a little snow this morning. morning. I was out driving the school bus, seeing a little bit of snow blowing around. That ain't yeah, good. The, the uh, Cherokee County schools were on two-hour delay. Really? That's because their bus drivers ain't as good as Towns County bus drivers. Uh, I think it's because <laughs> they got more more mountains than Towns County does. They do not. Here we go again. There's no way. What? More mountains than Cherokee County? Of course they do. In the north end of the county? Yeah, yeah but ain't, ain't nobody, nobody lives up there. Yeah, ain't nobody. Kids, come, kids that go to school out of those areas. Yeah. But I don't know what it's going to do. It looks like it's snowing a little bit up on the mountains. I'd hate to be up there naked wrapped up in a wet cloth right now. Would you? God, leave them on. I hate cold weather. I would hate to be the one of those football players in Buffalo yesterday, right? Man, they make like, like a million and something and bucks. I don't feel so. Yeah, but them. it was snowing and it was cold. Well, and bless their hearts. hearts and they make five million dollars. Bless, dollars. bless your heart. <laughs> what about the old boy out on the side of the road putting in a telephone cable for about $15 an hour? That's a guy there I feel sorry for. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Golly, there's a guy you need to worry about. Our good, buddy, right. our good buddy over there at General Supply, Jordan, says that it's snowing over there in Blairsville on the south end. Mm-hmm. There you go. Snow flurries. That okay. live view from Brasstown Ball looks a little bit chilly, too. Look at that. Yeah, golly, bum. Man, it's cold up there. Hey, in 1940, Johnny Russell. Johnny Russell, country singer, songwriter. He was born. He's actually the guy that wrote the song, Act Naturally. Y'all remember that song, Bubba Nope. They're going to put me in the movie. Never heard it. They're, They're going to make a big star, star out of me. <laughs> Keep singing, Stephen. All, All I got to do is act naturally. That's the thing, man. They love that the name of the song? Act naturally, act naturally. yeah. You don't yeah remember I that remember the, the lyrics, but I never knew the name of that song. Yeah, yeah that's huge. Well, you know, <laughs> the chorus, All, All I got to do is act naturally. Act naturally. Don't, don't, don't that kind of give it away? Oh, that must be the name of the song. Act naturally. I always act naturally. I got a tie. Yeah, that's my problem. He wrote, he wrote songs, songs for, for everybody, everybody, even the Beatles, Beatles it says. says. I don't know what song he wrote for that, but uh, anyway, anyway, he passed, passed away July the 3rd, 2001. 2001. But uh, Harley Allen, he was he born, born today, today in 1956, 1956 and he wrote the song for Alan Jackson, Between the Devil and Me. And uh, also for John Michael Montgomery. I think they're supposed to be coming to town, one or the other of them, the little girl. So that's good. And today... Let's see, so what's this, this guy's thing? The, the theme song, song for the Beverly Hillbillies TV show, The Ballad, Ballad, Ballad of Jed Clampett, by Jerry Scroggins. <laughs> today was the day that he wrote and produced, produced that song. Y'all remember that? That's a classic. Up from the ground, come up, Bubba Lynn Crew. Oh, that's right. Well, how'd that go? Sing it, Pat. You're over right. <laughs> I love the Beverly Hillbillies. That's kind of what started, kind of started all the stuff about us dumb rednecks. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jim. There you go. Or a mountaineer. Kept it going, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Barely kept the family fed. You know, you how, know many how many people, people went out in the backyard, backyard after they seen that movie and shot, shot the ground? ground. <laughs> 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 Boom. Nope. 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 That'd, that'd be it. That'd, that'd be about the way I'd be if I moved out to Hollywood, though. I'd be the... Yeah, that show isn't politically correct anymore. The woke people probably don't like the crude. Yeah. The crude. Dwayne LeBeau actually met that little, what's the girl's name that was in the movie? Uh, she just passed away a couple of years ago. I can't remember. She always had all the animals and stuff. Ellie May? Ellie May, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. Met yeah, Ellie May. That was a cool little movie, though, I mean, TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was cool. We need another one of them. I could be perfect for it. I'd be, what's, what's the dumb, dumb guy on there? there? That, I'm there Jethro. now. I'll be Jethro. Jethro, <laughs> Jethro, yeah. Jethro Bodine. I'm, I'm Cypher. Cypher. I've been Cypher. We remember we cut off the telephone poles. You know, we remember we cut the telephone poles. He said, said oh, here, they, they got, got the trees hung up on lines where you eat. Cut them as they come down. I'm all about that. 
buddy. What, what do you got, got back in Hey, John Hancock was born today. Oh, yeah. And yeah, remember, he signed his name real big on the uh, Declaration of Independence in defiance of the king. That was a big deal, too, man. All them folks that signed that, you know, they were... Hey, that was their death warrant. Yeah. yeah. They were brave. We yeah. need brave people brave like that today. Right. We ain't got none of them no more, do we? Everybody we do like have brave people. Name. 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 Chelsea Sullenberger was born today. You know who he was? No. Yes. no. He's the uh, pilot that landed that jet in the uh, Hudson River and saved all those people. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, I Sully that. Sullenberger. Sully. 71, 71 years old. If you, you said, said Sully, I didn't, I think I didn't, I didn't hear you first, first on that. Yeah. Well, they actually his, did a movie on that, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. His real name was Chelsea. Yeah, well, see, we all call him Sully. Because we Chesley. Know him. I'm sorry, Chesley. I bet Chelsea. the co-pilot in the Bahamas, Jeff Skiles, mm -hmm. he was so nice. You met him? I did, and he was just saying that you know he was he took a sabbatical to deal with everything, but he's now back to flying, and he does a lot of acrobatic, aerial stuff. He took a like, sabbatical. Dude, Is that some kind good, of religious? Good guy. Religious thing or something? No, no, he just took a break from flying for a little bit. Oh, I would think it would mess I'd be with done my with head. that. I'd be like, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. a mental health break, right? Yes, Sab that's a good way of saying it. Sabbatical. I need mm -hmm. to take a sabbatical. <laughs> Me too. I thought that sounded like where you go and you talk to the monks, you know, when you sit there. <laughs> You'd fit right <laughs> in there. Um, yeah. It's actually Mariska Hargadi's day, uh, birthday today. You know who she is? Uh, he just pulled a picture up of her. She, she looks the, nothing like her mother. Law and order. Law and order girl, yeah. Law and order girl, yeah. Jane yeah. Mansfield. Yeah, well, they're for a while. They run What's her mother? They run Jane out. Mansfield. Yeah. Really? That's her mm -hmm. mother? Yeah. They yeah. got killed in the car wreck? Yeah. Same one. That's her mother? Mm hmm. Wow. Was she in the Mickey, wreck, too? Mickey Hargady was her dad. Mickey Hargady <sighs> was a bodybuilder. Because she ran in the back of an 18 wheeler or something, didn't she? Wasn't that what? She got Jane? Yes. Mansfield. Yeah. Yes. In a Buick, I think. Hmm. Or Oldsmobile one. Mm -hmm. That was sad, today, wasn't it? Today in 1905 was the beginning of the Russian Revolution. And they still at it today, ain't they? Well, no, they deposed all the czars, and then now they have commissars. Commissars. Yeah. Commissars. You know, you're talking about law and order. There for a while, it seemed like TV is just grasping at the straw. Because you had law and order. And you had that other one. They went and they looked for, for uh, what was that called, where they looked for, like, crime scene investigation or whatever they dig through. I can't remember what it's called, but I don't know. they had law and order New York and then the law and order California. Mm -hmm. they, and they had NCIS? The, yeah, NCIS okay. is the okay. same way they had that yep. show. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, well, well, let's just do another show in a different difference. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of they don't have any imagination, do they? That's anymore. why I don't watch TV. Yeah. Check your mic. Check your mic. I got it fixed. He got it fixed. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. He keep me on it. We mm -hmm. got all these listeners out there keep packing on his toes. National Pie Day. I love pie. What's your favorite pie? Coconut cream. Oh wow, that's fancy. Apple. Yeah, I'm kind of with him. I'm like apple. I'm I'm good yeah. with apple. Little uh, vanilla ice cream with it. Yeah, not a little, mm -hmm. a lot. Key lime's pretty good too. <laughs> oh, I can't do key lime. I don't like key lime at all. Hmm. No, I'm not a big key lime. National Handwriting Day. That's something that's gone in the past. They don't even teach cursive anymore in school. Did y'all know that? Yep. So the kids can't read the original documents. So how do they sign their name? How do you, I mean, do you just print your name? Is that the same thing as a signature? I mean. Type it out in your computer or your telephone. And does it? Yeah. Yep. I remember we had to learn cursive back mm -hmm. at an early age. Yep. I have some uh, scars on my knuckles learned from learning cursive. Yeah. And then you, you had these nuns that had these steel rulers, and if you didn't do your letters correctly. Oh, did you go to one of them nun schools? Mm hmm Did you really? Sure did. Wow. Sure did. So that's for, like, trouble kids, right? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard about them nuns. They beat you up pretty mm -hmm. bad, don't they? They are tough. They are tough. Where but they you... taught you discipline. Yeah. Where, where did you go to school at? St. Patrick's. Ah, they named it after you. That's cool. St. Mm -hmm. Patrick's, yeah. That, well... That's how I was known. <laughs> is St. Patrick in attendance today? Yes, he is. He's there you right go. Here. And that, that got me more cracks on the knuckles. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, St. Patrick. We know the guy over here that uh, named the church in Blairsville after what's it called? Francis from St. Francis. Yeah, we know yeah. St. Francis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He ain't much of a saint. But he's pretty cool. <laughs> he hung out with the animals, didn't he? Have no idea. I guess we need to get to break. We got all kinds of cool stuff to talk about, don't we? 
It's going to be a dang so. good show. I hope so. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I got my little thing they brought me the other day, a little gum dispenser. Yeah, it's a sloth. A sloth pooper. Yeah, that poops candy. Oh, wow. For Stephen to eat. Hey, today's Monday. More insurance. Y'all need to go check out more insurance. They've actually got all me in, uh, got me insured. So if they'll insure me, they'll dang sure insure you. And they also got a show on the weekend talk about a lot of that stuff going on with insurance. It's very interesting and eye-opening. So give them a call. And we'll be right back. And now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. Horrifying live action video of a Murphy man being shot by outside law enforcement has now gone viral over the internet, and the video might lead the viewer to conclude that the shooting was unjustified. Meanwhile, Sheriff Dustin Smith is now saying that this is new information to him. This all stems from an officer involved shooting in mid December, in which 41 year old Jason Harley Klepfer was shot by members of the SWAT team from another jurisdiction. The Cherokee County Sheriff's Department press release on December the 13th presented this shooting as justification for a possible hostage situation in a camper in Cherokee County. But the surveillance video taken by a camera in the corner ceiling of the camper indicates that Klepfer and a woman answer the door unarmed and unprepared for the gunfire which bowled him over. It would appear that Klepfer is holding something black in his hand and pointing it out the door before he was engaged by the Cherokee Indian Police SWAT team. Later in the video, a member of law enforcement spotted the camera and appeared to utter an expletive when he discovered it. Sheriff Smith writes on the sheriff's Facebook page that the reason he had to rely on the Indian police SWAT team's narrative is that he doesn't have a tactical team of his own, something that he wants to discuss right away with the county commission. The video is on the WJRB Facebook page, which shared it from Klepfer's own social media account. Klepfer writes on his Facebook page that he is out of the hospital, but that he isn't ready to discuss details. In Towns County, Sheriff Ken Henderson is touting an uptick with felony drug arrests over the last calendar year. He says arrests have grown from 84 to 104 from 2021 to 2022. That's a 24 percent increase. Indeed, his office wrapped up a busy week, either directly apprehending several suspected narcotics users and dealers or indirectly assisting other law enforcement agencies in arresting theirs. A multi-agency bust netted Dexter Adams of Hiawassee for racketeering and dealing meth and heroin last week. A press release says he and two others were caught with about $75,000 in illegal drugs. Also, a Hayesville pair was taken in by the Towns County Sheriff's Office in a drug sting. Nathan LeMay was carrying a large amount of meth, a press release says. And the Union County Fire Department is asking residents to be on the lookout for a scam that's going around. A Facebook post says people are receiving phone calls from someone claiming to be taking donations for the Union County Fire Department. They say it's a scam as that fire department does not take donations over the phone. So if this happens to be you, there is a phone number you can call on the Union County Fire and Rescue Facebook page to complain. Please download the free WJRB app for Pat Malone and Harry Bond. I'm Jeff Batten. Constantly challenging ourselves as a college means more learning opportunities, better teaching, more innovative programs, greener facilities, a stronger community, and happier students. Every choice we've made reinforces our mission to help educate, inspire, and empower you. Young Harris College, this is the place where your future unfolds. Hey folks, this is Dr. Andre Scheffler. Have you heard the news? Hillcrest Clinic and Imaging has moved. Come visit us at our new facility at 401 Pat Harrelson Drive. Not feeling well? Come see one of our providers at the walk-in clinic. Has your doctor ordered an MRI, CT, ultrasound, or x-ray? Visit our certified radiology center for excellent images at one-third the price of our competitors. You will receive the same high-quality care as before, this time with a flat, easy-to-access parking lot. Come on by. You'll be glad you did. Hello, I'm attorney David Barrett. People sometimes tell me, I don't need a will. I don't have any money. Even if that's true, situation could change fast if you die and there's an insurance settlement. Wills are especially important for young parents with kids. Leave your loved ones your belongings, not a mess. If you don't have a will or need to update one, 
Call 706-745-0250. That is 706-745-0250 for an appointment. When it comes to helping local companies grow, News Talk 95.1 WJRB, Lake 97.7 WJUL means business. I'm Doc with Cherokee Guns and Murphy. It's always the burning question, how do I get people into my store? We're going on five years. The answer has been WJRB 95.1 and WJUL 97.7. Their signals cover the people I need to reach, and I know they are hearing my ads on 95.1. But even more important, the commercials they create for me are very creative and effective. Cherokee Guns are big fans of these stations. Well, if you know anything about Doc Wachholz, he wouldn't say it if he didn't mean it. And he certainly wouldn't continue to run ads on our stations if he wasn't getting a clear benefit. If your small business is looking for new customers this year, we are the place. Go to WJULradio.com or call the radio station because we've got listeners who want to be your customers. Attention podcasters, church audio mixers, or people who love our radio stations and think you could help. WJUL and WJRB are hiring, and you might be a perfect fit. If you've worked in radio before, great. If not, we still want to hear from people who are creative. So you make cool YouTube videos? You've ever written professionally? You like going to county meetings? Please call WJUL and WJRB or send a resume and letter to our Facebook page. The staff and I look forward to hearing from you. The Morning Dish. At the beginning of a new week, people see things differently, like why they're locked into their monster insurance carrier and paying higher premiums than their next-door neighbor. If that's you, you need to speak with more insurance services, an independent agency in Hayesville, Blairsville, and Hiawassee. All righty, we're back with you. Hope everybody's doing good and hanging out out there. I reckon I got my first actual real flight instructor and training Saturday. We went up. Well, it must have been successful because you're it back. sitting here. I made it back. Yeah, I made it back. Mm-hmm. So it was, Evan's what, doing that now. What he, kind of plane were you in? A little 172. Yeah. Yeah, a little Cessna 172. But that was a lot of fun, you mm-hmm. know. But actually, you know, we normally we just go up and fly a little bit. But this time we actually did all the uh, – Evan's, you know, he's a flight instructor now. Okay. And, uh, so I said, okay, I'm hiring you. Let's go. And so <laughs> it was a lot different, you know, when okay. he's like, do this mm-hmm. and do that. But, mm-hmm. I, you know, I, the landing part, we landed – I think I landed about three or four times and. Uh, I didn't do too bad. Good. A couple of little boo-boos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple of oh craps and holy smokes and what the heck are you thinking? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I got a couple of them. Mm-hmm. But I made her back down. So, but if y'all, I'm telling you, if y'all looking, to, wanting to fly, no kidding. I mean, it is so much fun. Yeah, yeah it is. It is so much fun. I feel safer so, in the small so ones a, than the big ones. I got a question for you, Stephen. Yeah. Did you get payback from all the times you disciplined your son? On driving. That's what he said before we took off. He said, you remember all the times you hollered at me when we were all the learning? <laughs> payback, payback, payback. Yes, indeedy. Yes, yeah. indeedy. We flew about hey. two hours, man. It went quick. I mean, it mm-hmm. felt like 15 minutes, but, uh, mm. yeah, it was fun. I love landing, though. I mean, that's the, thing. the first couple of times I was a little nervous about it, but, you know, then the you know, uh, the, the next, I don't know, a couple of times, I like, of course, we had to quit because it was getting late. But uh, I'm like, man, let's do that again because mm-hmm. yeah. that was the funnest part. What did you fix to say, Pat? I was going to say, a couple of weeks ago, you were talking about the new EPA rules regarding water. Yeah. You remember that? I do remember that. They're going to take over everything. And remember I told you somebody would sue it and stop it? Yeah. Last week, the American Farm Bureau and 17 other prominent agriculture or business groups sued the Biden administration for the new waters of, of the United States rules. So it's in limbo, so, like I said it would be. So what's going to happen now? Who's going well, to make the to take money? Effect. It was supposed to take effect March 20th. That's not going to happen. Right. It, it'll go to the courts, and the courts will uh, once again say that the EPA is overreached, and the farmers will be happy. So ain't we got these folks up there in Washington that's supposed to know that to begin with? I mean, mm. honestly, or they're not supposed to say, look, this this, this is an overreach. You can't do this, that. They're always this, trying to grab our freedoms. Yeah. yeah. This has Minimize nothing them. to do with water. This has to do with this is our political philosophy. We need to control things. Yes. And, but, it also and the tied- more control we have, the less freedom you have. Well, mm-hmm. ain't they supposed to know that? Ain't these senators and congressmen and all these people ain't they supposed to know hey look that's an overstep you should you can't do that we can't do that you know what i'm saying yeah they're so corrupt that's a problem that's a problem when you legislate 
but you don't also write the rules. You then turn it over to a bureaucrat to write the rules. See, there's your that's problem. what the EPA is. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I I've got a cousin that works way high up in the EPA, and uh, you know they like she said, you know, if there's something going on, that they can promote it, the public get behind it, whether it's right, wrong, or whatever, and they pretty much do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. There ain't a thing you can do about it, and they know what the fines are, so. Like you say, I don't know. But, hey, they got her stopped, right? Yep. No, they're yep. trying to get it stopped. Well, they trying to get it stopped. Yeah. And probably, yeah, it'll drag on through courts and millions of dollars mm-hmm. to be spent. And like I said, just us, the judges, and just us, the mm-hmm. loggers, that'll be the guys that makes them all the money, and girls. And that's what just us is, just and, us. But independent farmers and also the truckers, they're really the heroes. They're holding the line. They see what's happening. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no doubt about it. Hey, we got a boy three years old in the UK. That's the United Kingdom, right? UK. Mm-hmm. Yep. You got it. That's overseas, right? <laughs> Cross the pond, Stephen. <laughs> I reckon he can count to 106 languages. He's a savant. Three year boy. He's three years old. I mean, he is like super. I'm just thinking, man, he's just overachieving a little mm-hmm. bit. Don't you think like a show mm-hmm. off or something? You know, you always got that one kid in class. They ask a question. He's always throwing his hand up. Pick me, I know. Pick me. Yeah, nobody so, likes, no nobody likes people you. like that. No one picked you, Stephen. <laughs> I held my hand down. I won't pick. <laughs> Is like, there a big market for uh, three-year-olds that can count to 106 languages? I think that's pretty cool, though. I mean, I it's cool, but super smart. How many can do you, you do? Do you get paid for that? I can't even count to 100 in English. <laughs> <laughs> How many can you count to 10 in? You I can, can't. You could count to 10 in Southern. I can do you Southern. Speak, you yeah. speak Southern. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. fluent in Southern. There you, you can do go. Spanish. So you know two, right? To 10. Tor- trace. Trace, right. Once. Let's see. Uno, trace, cuatro. Uno, dos. Dos. You forgot dos. What's dos? That's, we ain't talking about. We ain't talking about square dancing. <laughs> <laughs> do <Do-si-do. laughs> <laughs> What about you, Pat? How many languages can you count to 10 in? Uh, well, let's see. English and Spanish and drunk. No, I bet you. <laughs> drunk. There you go. <laughs> Those nuns should have taught you in Latin, Pat. Yeah. Yeah. You well, that's true. It. I forgot yes. about that, but that's kind of a dead language, so I wasn't yeah. counting that one. Yeah. Ain't no good. Yeah. I reckon, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we had the oldest woman in the world passed away at what, 117 years old. Would you want to live that long? We've got a new yeah. one. She's in Spain. She's 115 years old, mm. certified as the oldest living person. So, And uh, they asked her what she thought about it. She said, I didn't think oh, oh, that other hag is going to pass away. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it. She kept on hanging on and hanging uh. on. I kept on exercising. I knew I wasn't going to make it. But she finally kicked the bucket, and here I am. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. That's bad, ain't it? It is bad. <laughs> 115. I'm like you, man, after that. Yeah. Golly, this gal here looks pretty, we say spry. She looks pretty spry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good for her. Maybe she's lying about her age. You know how women do. They lie about their age. <laughs> I don't. I always round up. <laughs> do you really? yeah. See, that's what I don't understand. It's better to say you're older, you know, than it's like, man, you look good for your age, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, yeah. But if you say you look, if you say you're younger, then it's like, ooh, man. Yeah, but listen, know. if they say, oh, you have a nice smile, you're ugly. Trust me. Yeah. If they say, or, oh, no, this would have a nice personality. <laughs> that's it. You're that's ugly. It. Wait, it's that's like, what that means? Yeah, pretty much. Or, but she's wholesome. Wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you got a brand new little baby, your friends had a brand new baby, you go see the little little thing, and it's just ugly as it can be, and you're like, so oh. Cute. Breathtaking. <laughs> that's, that's the Seinfeld episode. That's a yeah. breathtaking baby. <laughs> You have to see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad. You're like, golly, boom. Is that, a, is that a rat or is that a baby? You know? Oh, it's, oh, look at his eyes. It's got nice eyes. So you always know that's a dead giveaway, right? That's what, what they say about you when you was born back. Holy smoke. So which side's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the weather now. It's a wintry mix outside of a window. Lovely. Love us from our roving weather reporter, Jennifer. Give us yes. the weather. It's icky out there. Icky, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There's a new weather word, yes. word right? Icky. icky. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this at? I sent this to her earlier today. It's a hot day. I reckon the radio host says Biden has dementia because they saw him talking to a ghost. Y'all hmm. see that? I sent it to her. Did you see that? 
not you sent it to me, and then I saw. I just it. wonder if Pat seen it. Pat, do you see that word? I haven't seen it. They 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 saw him talking to a ghost. And that's what they're saying. That's what they're mm. saying. What was Charlemagne saying? the God? Charlemagne the God. What about huh. God? He is. He's got like his own following. I've never this heard is of like him. a rapper. No, you've heard of Charlemagne the guy. He's a talk show guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember he had. I haven't heard of him. Really? Yeah. How about the Hodge twins? You heard the Hodge twins? No. Really? I love the Hodge twins. And then we just Do lost you? them other gal, that other gal. What was her name? Uh, Diamond and Silk. Diamond and Silk. I reckon she's got a bunch going on with that they're talking about because she's like, you know, nothing was going on. She's blaming the jab. Yes, she is. Yep, she's blaming the yes. jab now. So. And Elon Musk on Friday mm -hmm. tweeted that he had a severe reaction to the booster. He mm -hmm. thought he was going to die. Wow. So little things are coming out now. Slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they and, said... And the what one. medical school did Elon Musk graduate from? The same one Bill Gates graduated from. Ah, uh -huh. whoa, Burn. son! These, these are guys we ought to listen to, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I, you know, he said, said he saw Joe Biden talking to a ghost. He very well could be. I mean, I feel like he's pretty tight with the devil right now. I don't know. Well, that segues into Nancy Pelosi. Her daughter said she had a, um, an exorcism performed at their house in San Francisco. I don't think they got the right demon out <laughs> did they really so, yeah after the attack An i understand you're not yeah. allowed to bring a hammer into their house anymore no. <laughs> <laughs> yep well there he got nailed didn't he mm. whatever happened with that anything kind of been swept under that him, just yeah. disappeared mm -hmm. you know two guys in their underwear with a hammer <laughs> just kind of weird oh. and, and he just had that wreck not long before that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was drunk and i'm gonna be honest in his defense if i was married to nancy pelosi i'd probably be an alcoholic too i mean just thinking <laughs> i mean honestly <laughs> i mean there's just so many arms you can gnaw off in the morning when you, get up, you know oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake her up. Just gnaw your arm off. Oh. I'm sorry, Pat. I know you're a big Nancy Pelosi fan. No. no. <laughs> it's just you're getting you're getting terribly close to that uh, point where they get give us a bleep. Oh, oh. I'm just yeah. thinking outside of the box. Yeah, I, I just, know you are. Yeah, that's and that's like, what scares everybody. You know, when they had the lockdown and she went to her her, her uh beauty salon salon mm -hmm. to get her hair done and i just felt so so sorry for that gal could you imagine trying to make something out of her i mean a lot of pressure you, a lot of pressure <laughs> like we gotta make her we gotta make her look like something <laughs> and they do but, a lot of foundation so what do you think about this him talking to to ain't uh, say what did he say talking to devils or talking to uh, ghost he's talking to ghost i suppose that's possible yeah do you believe in ghost yeah, sure. Yeah. I believe in the I Holy Ghost. Are, yeah, I'm with you on that. I think there are spirits that uh, haven't haven't gone on yet. They're still hanging out around us, so in oh. that middle ground. Well, you definitely ain't a Baptist, I guarantee you. That's mm -hmm. Baptist. When they pull the pin here, it's over. We're gone. <laughs> yeah, you either go one way or the other. I think you're demons, though. I really do. I believe oh, they're demons. definitely demons. Yep. You know the reason why you think that, tell them about your uh, Ouija board. Yeah, we know about <laughs> the Ouija board. Yeah. <laughs> My Ouija board, you know, I don't know. Do y'all ever do the Ouija board? No. And everybody? Mm -hmm. that, I don't. That's scary stuff. Well, back when we was kids, we did all that. We didn't think nothing about it. But my, my Ouija, my my ghost or my demon or whatever, he's dyslexic just like I am. <laughs> <laughs> he's spelling all the things wrong too, right? <laughs> yeah, he's just like I am. We spell everything wrong. So uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of scary to think that the. Uh, if you're ever in a situation where people are using it, you got to go to the breaker breaker box of the house and just turn the lights, just yeah. turn the lights yeah. off start yeah. flipping it back and forth you yeah. know what i mean Ooh. i don't know I do, I do believe in in demons though but i just think it's crazy uh all the stuff that he's doing is definitely i think they're on to something he's got dementia or something's going on mm -hmm. wait, wait a minute wait a minute Hallie you don't walks, believe in yeah. ghosts but you believe in demons yep so you believe in in uh evil yeah do you believe in good i believe in good could there be good ghosts? No. Oh. I believe in angels. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't, isn't that a ghost? No. No. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Here's What's the problem I got. Okay, you watch all this stuff, and they're saying, oh, we've seen this we seen this Confederate soldier standing at the top of the steps with his gun and all this stuff. There's no way. I mean, gun is man-made, has no soul, 
clothes, so, I mean, I don't see where they come up with all this. They're dressed in a long white veil. And so all, all ghosts are naked? That's what I would think. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I think it'd be naked, wouldn't you? Boy, that'd be a <laughs> heck of a sight, wouldn't it? Golly, I hope we get to heaven. Everybody ain't naked. <laughs> well, the, the, that would be bad. In heaven, they say we have glorified bodies. So it'd be a lot so. better than what we have here. I couldn't imagine getting up there and Harry Vaughn and Pat meet me at the pearly gates and they're naked. I'd be like, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, hey, the reverse is more true. <laughs> wait a minute. I didn't make it, Lord. I didn't make it. Bubbles. <laughs> I didn't know they had pearly gates at the at hell, but I guess that's where I'm at. Look at Packy. He's like biting his fingernails right now. I'm just picturing Harry, man. The- don't, don't, don't. I can't get it out of my head. You don't need that burnt in your memory for the rest of your life. Good Lord. We got to take another break, we folks. We really have to take yeah, another break. More insurance. We appreciate them. They insure us, no doubt, and uh, they are good people. And they got like five locations, and they really are good people. If you've ever met these guys, you and girls, you you you'll find out they're just home folks like us, and uh, they'll do everything they can to save you some money. So uh, give more insurance a call. More hyphen insurance dot com. At United Community Bank, we believe the most powerful equation in banking is loving your bank, plus your bank loving you back. Our customers rated us number one in customer satisfaction with consumer banking in the Southeast, plus number one in trust. We've earned not just one J.D. Power Award, but seven in the past eight years. When superior banking combines with the highest customer satisfaction, it all adds up. Experience the difference at United Community Bank. Member FDIC. For J.D. Power 2021 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Now you can find more insurance in Blairsville on Highway 515 across the street from the Home Depot. Call 706-745-2139 for a fast and accurate quote. Life's biggest moments call for unique and beautiful gifts. Let Davis Jewelers take away all the worry and indecision with a beautiful pendant, ring, necklace, or earrings. We've got a huge selection of unique pieces to make every special moment become an oh wow moment. Our experts at Davis Jewelry want to help you find the perfect piece for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and engagements, or just because. Find us at 417 Blue Ridge Street in Blairsville or davisjewelry.jewelershowcase.com. Our young patients from 30 years ago have grown into mommies and daddies, and the Hiawassee Family Practice continues to take care of every growing family. Trust your loved ones with Dr. Robert Stallcut, Shirley Youngblood, and Ray Townsend for preventative checkups in those little sniffles and aches that just seem to linger on. Right next to the hospital on Main Street, Hiawassee, and most insurance is accepted. We know your names, and you know ours. That's how family medicine should be. Hiawassee Family Practice, 706-896-2289. When it comes to helping local companies grow, News Talk 95.1 WJRB, Lake 97.7 WJUL means business. I'm Jane Frazier with Sentinel Plastic Surgery in Blairsville. My husband, Dr. William Frazier, and I began advertising on WJRB and WJUL with no real idea how it would go. 18 months later, we've concluded it was one of the best things our practice has done to reach new patients in the mountain community. The response to the new ads has been very strong, but it's not just that. For us, we've been just as happy with how easy and fun it's been to work with WJUL and WJRB. The commercials sound great, and the staff and personalities are very invested in our success. If you're a small business owner looking for attention, we highly recommend WJUL and WJRB advertising. If your small business is looking for new customers this year, we are the place. Go to WJULradio.com or call the radio station because we've got listeners who want to be your customers. The Morning Dish. You can't blame Stephen Phillips for your business insurance going up 25% this year, but you can still do something about it. Business owners, you need to talk business with more insurance services. Your mountain insurance agency in Hayesville, Blairsville, and Hiawassee. All righty, we're back with you, and Harry Vaughn left his little black book here with us, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Harry's little black book here. How about that? Got all his numbers in it. <laughs> Let's see if we can give some of these numbers out. Let me see that for a second. Oh, no. Dear Diary. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> today Stephen came in. I hate Pat Looking Malone. I said right there, visual. I hate Pat Malone. I'm nice to him, but I hate Pat. <laughs> Hey, what the heck's going on down Atlanta, man? They had arrest, six arrests after uh, violent protesters. What's going on? They lit they lit cop car blaze. They lit a cop car blaze. I heard also a bomb went off, too. Smashing windows. You know anything about that, Pat? You're supposed to keep up with all that. That's a, that's a continuation of the protest that's been going on at that construction site where they're trying to build a new uh, public safety training center where they shot the guy the other day. Yeah. When they were trying to clear all the protesters out of there, that... And did you notice again the six people or seven people that got arrested downtown? None of them were from Georgia again. Yeah, they was from out of town. I seen that. Yeah, yeah. So well. I, I didn't even know. You say if somebody got shot in Atlanta, you have to say where at, which part. Because, I mean, you know, it's like every weekend. It's yeah. not much different in Chicago down there, is it? I mean, honestly. It's just happened it's moving out to Buckhead and some of the nicer sections. Yeah, why well, did you know, Buckhead used to be a nice place, mm-hmm. but it's kind of getting where people are moving out of there, yeah. too. What's going on with all that? I don't know. It's called defunding the popo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They protest, and I just, they raking, smashing windows, burning cop cars. Do they not understand the cop cars are bought with, well, I was fixing to say bought with taxpayers' money, but you know, you wonder these folks from out of state that comes in here and does all this, they don't pay no taxes, so. Mm-hmm. And those are protests. What are protests, they? Protest people use words. These people are using weapons and Molotov cocktails and things like that. That's a riot. Let's they're, call it what it is. They're George Soros funded thugs. Well, now, did yeah. They, yeah. Did yeah. they? I don't know. I need to follow it a little bit more, but, you know, I, I don't go to Atlanta unless I just have to. But uh, did they? the cops lock them down pretty quick or they let it r- run on all night? That's bad. I don't well, even watch anymore. I don't even care. Mm-hmm. They, they got it wrapped up pretty quick, but they should have been on top of their game because they knew it was coming. Right. And they should have prevented it. They shouldn't be able to burn uh, police cars, for God's sake. I, you well, know? you know. I, Private businesses. I mean, what's the scoop with that? Yeah, mm-hmm. they shouldn't be able to be breaking windows either. They, so what do they do? Hey, they did. They did stop it. They're, what what they're did Biden? Building. What did Biden say about it? Crickets. What about Kamala Harris? She said, "I um, love school buses. School buses." You mean, <laughs> you, even if she said something, you wouldn't know what. And she I said. love school buses. Because <laughs> yeah. School buses, I love. They make me so happy because they're yellow. Yeah. And Stephen drives one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, maybe favorite. we should have a committee for program. this. Yeah, like we an need an investigative committee. committee for January twenty third. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Can I be the head honcho on that? I I think so. Heads a roll. Like new law in town. This ain't gonna happen <laughs> like it used to, boys. Y'all gonna sit down. I don't know, man. Send I, Sheriff T. Justice yeah, down there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Buford T. Or Justice. Or Buford yeah. T. Justice. Buford. Old Buford. Mm-hmm. I, I know. That. I wish you could. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are they building down there, though, Pat, they're so upset about? They're building a public uh, safety training center for Atlanta and the metro area. So this is a place that the public can go to to learn how to be safe in Atlanta while they live down there? Is that what this is? No. Public safety, this is a place where they train police officers. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know if this is it's a public. training center. I thought it was public safety. I thought that was where the public goes to get safe from all mm. these folks writing and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not in charge of the committee. No, I'm not. Yeah. No. I just issue everybody a gun. That's what I do. Yes, the best kind. Yeah, they, I, they already have guns. Everybody's got a gun in Atlanta. How do you think people get killed? A well-armed but society. Th- it's a polite society. I'm with you on mm-hmm. that. Bring back the cowboys. That's mm-hmm. why I'm saying we walk yep. in one of the things on your hip and somebody says something to you you don't like, you shoot them in the leg. Yeah. But now the ATF is willy-nilly making laws, <laughs> making things that were once legal, illegal. Like, yeah. they can do that, and we're letting them. Uh, that's another topic. That's another topic. That's another topic. Yeah. I need to get in a better mood and get a better night's sleep before I tackle that one. I uh, I don't know. I I don't think a lot of folks carry his guns like. Well, I guess we do. I mean, you do, but they don't. You, you know, you see. Here's the problem. You see these people that that actually shoot and save somebody's life in an armed robbery. You never hear anything about that. Mm-mm. They don't talk about that. Of course not. And this happening all the time, where mm-hmm. you know somebody goes in to rob somebody, they got a gun and somebody's there and they take them down and. Mm-hmm. You never hear that, but if they, you know, if you got a cop that uh, shoots a bad in guy, a way, you hear about you, that. You don't, you don't want to get publicity for doing that. You did your public service. You don't need to be publicized for that. Look what happened to that kid that uh, shot the three people. What was his name? Kerry Rittenhouse? Rittenhouse. Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse. Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't want to be publicized for that. I actually follow him on Twitter. Mm, yeah. Neat. Yeah. Good. 
I know you're right about that. I see what you're saying. I'm with you 100. percent I mean, but the thing is, they they don't talk about that part of it because they don't want you to know that carrying a gun is life saving. Mm-hmm. If you exactly. if you don't if you don't think that they're all carrying guns in Atlanta, how do you think the Atlanta Hartsfield Airport confiscated 448 guns last year? That's from all us rednecks going down there <laughs> trying to ride <laughs> ride on them planes. <laughs> You got a gun? Mm-hmm. Dang right, I got a gun. Yep. Yeah, I got a gun. Yep. That ain't a gun. That's a twenty-two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I followed Rittenhouse on the uh, on the. Uh, I think he came out pretty good on that after it's all said and done, didn't he? He won't have yeah, to work did. again. Yeah. If he ever. Yeah. Yeah, after it's all said and done, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we got, Packy, we got anything to give away? I think we have one more Papa's Pizza to give away. We got to restock. Hey, let's give away. Stuff. Let's give away Harry's Little Black Book. Let's Harry's do Diary. That. Yes. When we come back, we're going to read from Harry's Diary. Deep thoughts. Deep thoughts by my, Harry. Yeah, you go from <laughs> Harry's Diary. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to deep thoughts over here. That section's blank. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can see there's nothing on it. Oh. More insurance services. Give them a call. They're great people, no doubt, and they can save you a lot of money. That being said, we'll be right back. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Now you can find more insurance in Blairsville on Highway 515 across the street from the Home Depot. Call 706-745-2139 for a fast and accurate quote. Union General Women's Health provides obstetrics and gynecological services close to home. Doctors include Kevin Davis, Cynthia Mercer, Kimberly Denton, Benjamin Harris, and nurse practitioner Christy Collins. They serve all of Northeast Georgia, Western Carolina, and surrounding areas. Plus, they now have two locations in Blairsville and Blue Ridge, Georgia. Call 706-835-2222 to schedule your appointment in Blairsville or 706-946-3080 to schedule your appointment in Blue Ridge. If you've been injured, you don't need to go to Atlanta or Gainesville to find a lawyer. The law office of Daniel Duello specializes in accident cases and is based in Blairsville. I used to defend insurance companies and saw their attempts to pay less through pressure and delays. Now I want to use that experience to help you get treated fairly. Just search for Daniel Duello or call 706-603-3036 and I'll see you in Blairsville. It's 706-603-3036. Your feel better starts here. Your feel better starts with Healthy Smiles by Dr. B in Hayesville. Are you afraid or embarrassed to smile because of decayed or discolored teeth? Dr. B uses the latest white fillings, all porcelain crowns, and laser teeth whitening. Visit Healthy Smiles by DRB.com and get the beautiful smile you've always wanted so you can start feeling better about yourself. Call 828-360-3999 to make an appointment. It's time now to honor the Prep Athlete of the Week. Brought to you by Ware Chevrolet in Blairsville. Supporting the champions of tomorrow from the five-county area. Let's give it up for Sarah Shook of the Towns County Indians and what a week she had. 14 against Greene County, 17 against Lincoln County, and 17 points with seven rebounds against Lake Oconee Academy, which was the number one team in the state. Congratulations to Sarah Shook of the Towns County Lady Indians. She is the Ware Chevrolet Athlete of the Week. Hey, it's Packy here with Kenny Shore with Mountainside Parcel on Post. Kenny, I understand you're moving your store to Blairsville. We have, Packy. We've decided to combine both stores into one that's a more convenient location. And you still offer all the same packing, shipping, printing, copying, and notarizing services as before? We do, and we're located between the car wash and the post office in Blairsville. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturday from 10 to 3. Y recuerden que también hablamos en español. The Morning Dish! Unlike the telephone company, you've got choices in the mountains for auto insurance. And when you deal with an independent agent, you've got even more. And choices mean savings. Speak with a local neighbor at More Insurance Services. All righty, we're back with you. Phone line 706-379-9770. Give us a call. We have got what we got packed. Pizza from Papa's of Hiawassee, Murphy, and Blairsville. Three locations to better serve you. All you got to do is answer one of these questions. Pat Malone, ask us. You got one ready, Pat? 
I got one ready He's for you. He's always ready. Give us a call. Hey, what? By the way, um, Friday in the chaos that ended our show, yeah, I asked that guy what was the states on the northern border of Georgia. Mm-hmm. He answered Florida, and all you guys said he <laughs> <it> was correct. <laughs> So I think you ought to leave the answer to me. Yes, I, that's a good idea. Okay. All right. Well, it depends I on which. That. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it is your show, Stephen. Hey, we got comments back. What we got up there? We got to read your comments. Brian Schmidt says, demons masquerade as ghosts to distract attention from Jesus. There you go. Yep. And Joey right. Bailey says, sounds good. <laughs> Brian Schmidt says, chicken pot pot. It's actually fun to read these backwards. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> non-chronologically, you know. <laughs> Makes it more fun. Joey Bailey says, yes. Doug Gibson, morning, guys. Snowing and Murphy head to Knoxville. May 68 is not bad. Stay warm. He might not make it up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah. Some of those old 68 can get kind of dicey. It gets yeah. up real high. That's what we got. Hey, y'all, yeah. give us a call, 706-379-9770. Get you a free Papa's Pizza to go. You don't have to go. You can actually sit down in there and get it. they got three locations. So, I mean, we got you covered in all the counties, the Tri-County area. 706-379-9770. We have got this little girl that sent a letter to the to police department. Dear Cumberland Police Department, I took a sample of a cookie and carrots that I left for Santa and the reindeer on Christmas Eve and was wondering if you could take a sample of DNA and see if Santa is real. Oh, that is so sad. Yeah. She left Santa carrots. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, she left a reindeer carrots. That's a reindeer. Eat the oh, carrots. is that what uh, the, oh, okay. I didn't know there for me. I duh. thought, dang. I oh, I see something flashing here. Must be a vegan or something. You yeah. Know, a carrot. I wonder if Santa Claus was a vegan. Oh, I don't think so. The woke Santa, I hope maybe. Not. Yeah, I yeah, don't he's, know. He's, okay, it makes sense. He left carrots for the for the reindeer, so she's going to check in on this DNA stuff. See, y'all pretty smart. I thought she left mm-hmm. Santa. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be terrible to pull in, drop kids off presents, and they leave you a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the naughty list. Yep. Who we got, Pack? We got Vicky Gribble. Hey, Vic, what's going on, girl? Hey there. I just seen your son yesterday. Uh oh. Or day before yesterday. Was he behaving? Yeah, he's grown up. <laughs> yeah, he has. <laughs> he's tall. Yeah. Yeah, they do that. It's amazing. Well, I know. I didn't get old till mine hit thirty. <laughs> yeah, I know how that is. Where uh, is it? Snow? Where are you at? They is it snowing where you're at? Well, it's blowing snow. I'm at Benchmark. Okay, so it's just kind of blowing a little bit down there. Yeah. Well, that'll work. That'll work. All right, were you ready to answer the, the Pat's question? I hope so. Why, I you didn't can, do too good last time. Well, you can do this. Ain't no problem. What you got, Pat? Okay, Vicki. Uh, Stone Mountain is the largest piece of exposed granite in the world, but even more of it is underground. In miles, how far does Stone Mountain extend underground? You expect me to know that? I'm sitting here thinking on, the Vicky, same thing. <laughs> All right, say hi. I live in Hiawassee. I don't know nothing about Stone Mountain. Well, let's just take a stab at it. Uh, 25 miles. Close enough. It's actually nine miles. Oh, nine okay. miles? Is it nine hmm. miles? Nine miles. That's Amazing. a lot. Wow. That's Think a big rock, that. ain't it? Yeah. Think about how big that thing is. Is it round? On the bottom side, too, you think? I don't know. I don't think anybody ever went down there to check that. Well, you know, back when I was right out of school or whatever, I worked down there for Ansco and Associates. A lot of folks up here did, drove down there to work. And uh, we worked around Stone Mountain. And, man, it's rocky all over down there. I mean, it's just the ground is just – it's not just that stone sticking up. It's it's all over. It's amazing to me how rocky – That's what – Stephen, that's why it extends nine miles underground. Yeah, it's huge. (laughs) It's huge. But now, what happens ain't when they that trying happens. to get rid of the Stone Mountain? Only they... they trying to get rid of the carving on Stone Mountain. I think they are just add a Cadillac or something on there and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I love going only down there. Only you, Stephen. Only you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you won. You won. You won. Twenty-five miles. That's close to nine. We'll take that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask hey, you this question. Wild guess. Is Florida hey, is Florida to the north of us? Is, is Florida to the north of us? 
Say yes. No. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, you won. All right, girl, thank you so much. I don't have a map in front of me, Steve. I'm with you. I don't know it. it like I said, I ain't been out of Hiawassee in five years, mm -hmm. so I ain't even sure there is a Florida left, but... All right, girl, we got you Papa, Papa's Pizza to go, five, three locations. Uh, so just swing by here and pick them up. Thank you, dear. All right, you take care. Well, this weather could get pretty bad. What is the weatherman saying like we, they know? I don't no. think they know what uh, – they're just guessing. Yeah. Who y'all got on tomorrow, Pat? Uh, who we got on tomorrow? I forget. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're at that age. I am. At, at, look in Harry's black book. He's uh, got it all written We've been down looking at his place. black book. He's a weird dude, man. Ain't, ain't anything in there? Yeah, they are. But like I said, he's a weird dude. Oh, you don't <laughs> want to talk about that stuff. <laughs> no, we need to kind of leave that where it's at. I right. think that was a bad idea talking about we're reading this book tomorrow. Maybe we better skip that. We won't be excommunicated off the radio. Yeah. You know? Do y'all excommunicate in your tomorrow, church? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow we got the 911 director from uh, Clay County. So we'll hear all of, all about the emergency calls. Oh, okay. I thought, I guess. You with me? Yeah. Call 911. What is your? There you go. For murders, press one. Ain't that what they do now? <laughs> they defunded everybody. Hold on. Yeah, we'll be yeah, right back with you. I'm in a break. <laughs> 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 You wouldn't be a good 911 operator. <laughs> I wouldn't. They'd be like, there go. <laughs> really? <Yeah>. Shazam. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> hey, man, you know they had that shoot they was talking about on the radio. I watched that video of that guy got shot over there at Cherokee, man. That was crazy. Did you, did you see the video, Pat? I did. Yeah, that was unreal, man. There's, there's, a, there's a lawsuit coming on that one, I believe. Yeah. Now, that guy that they shot, is he going to be, is he making? Is he okay? The guy in Hiawassee that they shot? Was or he? in uh, Cherokee? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's out of the hospital. He's home. Right. So I assume he's going to be okay. But uh, he didn't have a gun as far as I could see on that video. No, that was I wild. Know. I don't see how his wife kept from getting shot because she was in there trying to, you know, take care of him and bullets mm. flying through the window. And... Yeah. Wow. Well, it's an unfortunate situation. Yeah. Well, now that he made it, I guess he's going to be, as they say, loaded. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, that's what always gets his money, right? Yeah, well, I don't know how you get anything out of Cherokee County. Yeah. I mean, Hopefully. they don't have anything to get. Jennifer, thank you for coming in. Oh, it's always a pleasure. You're going to be it. back Friday, right? Friday. Friday's the day, and then we'll be back tomorrow, me and Pat and, and uh, Packy. Packy, we got to get Pack another name. we got too many Pats in here, Pat and Packy and... I like Packy. That's, he's Packy. He's nothing but Packy. Yeah, he's Packy. Mm -hmm. We come back tomorrow. We'll talk about how he got that name. But anyway, hey, don't forget to call more insurance. They bring you the show. We appreciate y'all. Y'all take care. Be good, Pat. See ya. <laughs>